Hello, this is Espada Spenson here to do a battle for you. I'm going to start this battle off by giving you a little pre-context to the story. This is May 7, uh, 1805. Napoleon has just conquered northern Italy, and the Austrians are putting up a pathetic attempt as a guerrilla warfare to stop any imperial advancements onto Vienna. The Austrian army, led by Karl von Osterich, commands 2,212 men and has run ragged all over Italy and now moved into Switzerland to try to draw off main French forces. We have Louis Nicolas Davout to intercept him here and this will finally be the end of one of the Austrians greatest generals. Let's start this battle up and let's see how Alright, you can see now that we've started up the battle. I'm going to start this battle off by moving my grand battery up this hill to try to get a good shots off. I'll move up my uh, line of infantry right behind it. Let's take a look at these Austrian forces. Looks like they're going to try to take a rush towards towards the position. In that case, I'm actually going to pull off these cannons. Because they're going to be in too much in jeopardy. And that's going to be the main reason why I'm going to win these grand batteries. Alright, here we go. We're getting some re nice cavalry reinforcements, which is going to be helpful. I'm going to put these guys in light infantry formation and put them in a nice little tilt like that. As you see, the, I've drastically increased the number of men. There's now 500 men in each unit, which is pretty good. I'm going to tilt my line to face these new Austrian forces. These guys walk. Get these guys into a nice position. Alright, where I, can I put my grand battery? I'll. Shh, this is hard position. I'll put my battery over here. See if I can get some good flanks, flanking fire with my artillery. Take a look at this. Looks like the Austrians have retreated from the center position. We're pushing up with our own troops. And we can see their artillery batteries over there. See them get a couple shots off. It looks pretty epic, but much more epic the other way around. Take a look at the battle over here. We have my soldiers fighting off against the 1st Regiment of German Fusiliers. And it looks like my forces are receiving a pounding from these enemy forces. That's about to change. We've got the light infantry now into the fray. And that's going to be able to tear up these Hungarian fusiliers. They were loading up. Let's see if we can. We got, great, we got some nice reinforcements coming up. Rush them in. What are these guys doing here? Looks like they're making a rush for my artillery batteries. Line infantry. A little bit of lag there. Bring out some line infantry to kind of hold that advance. Again, move my grand batteries in the back. Guys, looks like they're going to get some shots off. We have some cab, that'd be great. I'm going to try to send a distraction in, in this, into a nice melee charge. These regiments, they can't do too much damage. And also, I'm going to start charging my own Fusilier forces because I need my Grand Battery to stay alive. No, I'm going the wrong way, retards. Stretch this line out a bit more. I think it's time we start committing some of the line from Trees to the fight. And we'll take these two units around into a nice flanking force to try to take out these Austrians. There we go. I think from pure numbers alone we should be able to take out that unit. Allowing my artillery to finally get up on this hill. But at this point I don't even think it matters. Now that we've got some nice support. And pull all these troops back. Let them live in to fight another day. And we can get these nice troops to get some good fire positions onto them. Even though they're only militia, they will be able to do a, a nice bit of damage. 
Oh no, looks like they're melee charging. Let's get it. Let's counter charge their troops. Uh, damn it, that artillery is going to be a real pain. It's already knocked down a nice big hole in my troops. Let's get some nice first action fighting here. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. It looks like we're getting the upper hand in the fighting. Let's move more of these troops here to plug in that nice gap. Take our cavalry around the sides. Oh no, cab charge. I wasn't expecting that. Pull all these troops back. Hopefully these guys can get a nice volley. In yeah, it looks like they're pulling back their troops. So you can get a nice volley onto the general. That's good. To these guys so we can get a nice shot at the general. I'm going to charge my infantry into the artillery so that we don't have to deal with them anymore. So if there's anything else I can do at this point. Looks like they're actually starting to route. Which is good. I'm going to commit the rest of my cavalry into a fight. Bring these militia troops in. Just going to finish them off with a nice melee charge. The volley off. Some nice up close action here. 452 for the line. Running, sir. Oh no, that's not good. Probably my cav. Ah, uh, called it. They did get pretty hammered. Take some nice up close action over here. Go back. We can watch the retreating Austrians get cut down. Almost looks like it could be a movie, doesn't it? You scroll back and see the amount of dead people. Other major battles. As these forces are still already very weak from previous engagements. Oh, that's just evil. These troops are getting get handed to them. Watch these guys get cut down. Alright. And it looks like we've pretty much won the battle. Any other units? Oh. Just one unit. Oh, general staff will just go into a melee charge. Commit our general staff and some other cav. And just finish this off. Good luck. So that pretty much concludes this battle. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Kinda ordered that, smart one. Wonder who I can fire my own advisor. He's not a very good one at it. There we go. That's the last of it. And so that's how this f famous victory is won. Karl von Osterich lays wounded. And the battle has been won. And Italy is now under firm French control. A road now lies to Vienna.